Hey folks, thanks for tuning into this Viking Electronics product short. My name is Andrew and today we are talking about the DNA 510 Digital Mass Notification Announcer. It's sad to say that in recent years, natural disasters and man-made tragedies like mass shootings are on the rise. When one of these events occur, alerting people quickly can be the difference between life and death. I recently worked with a manufacturing facility that was located in Tornado Alley, whose management was regularly out walking the production floor. In the case of severe weather, management needed the ability to use their cell phone to trigger a severe weather alarm. They went with a DNA 510 connected to a dedicated analog phone line, and with this setup, no matter where they were, on site or off site, they could call in, access the DNA 510, and press touch tone 3 to trigger a siren. This video overview will cover the features and functionality of the DNA 510 as well as the physical connections in detail that you will see when connecting one of these devices up to a PA system. A quick note here before we begin, if you are not subscribed yet to the Viking Electronics YouTube channel, please just take a second, hit the subscribe button, and click the little bell so you get notified every time a new video is released. This shows us that the channel is valuable to you and allows us to keep making videos. So. Be sure to click subscribe and leave a comment down below too, we appreciate that. All right, let's dive in. The DNA 510 is a mass notification announcer that plays back pre-recorded tones or custom voice messages. It connects to a phone system's FXS port or analog extension, as well as to an unused trunk or FXO port. A dedicated phone line can also be connected to the DNA 510 for accessing its features remotely. Authorized users can access the DNA 510 by dialing into the unit or by coming off hook on the trunk port and then dialing the access code. Once accessed, the DNA 510 can be triggered by a touchtone command to play back an emergency notification. Playback of these emergency tones can be set to a specific number of times before stopping or indefinitely until the termination command is delivered by accessing the DNA 510 again and delivering the termination command, which is touch tone pound. An alternate way to trigger playback on the DNA 510 is using the trigger input. A normally open or a normally closed dry contact is an effective way to quickly trigger a specific emergency tone on the DNA 510. And you can terminate that tone by triggering the contact a second time or by accessing the DNA 510 and pressing pound. After the video, visit vikingelectronics.com and search for the DNA 510. We've got all the pre-recorded alert tones online for you to hear. Click the search result, scroll down, hit tones, and here you can play all the pre-recorded sounds. The DNA 510 can be wired to interrupt background music or voice paging during an emergency. Live paging through the DNA 510 is done by accessing the device and pressing zero. It also has a line level input for background music or other 600 ohm audio source. A common output for all of these audio sources feeds to a paging amplifier. Separate volume controls on the DNA 510 balance levels of recorded messages and alert tones with voice paging and background music before being sent to the amplifier. Now, if anyone is curious, there is a link in the video description to the DNA 510's product manual as a PDF that you can save and print. It has a wiring diagram, default tone activation commands, and more. Feel free to check that out after the video. In the event power is lost during an emergency, it is highly advised that the DNA 510 and other emergency notification systems be plugged into a UPS or a battery backup system. Pre-recorded voice messages and alert tones will be retained during a power outage, but the DNA 510 is inoperable without power. The DNA 510 comes with a 13.8 volt AC power adapter. It has an output relay for triggering amplifiers, strobe lights, or another peripheral device. This shunt determines if the output relay will send a 12 volt DC power or act as a dry contact. There is a screw terminal for a grounding wire to protect the DNA 510 from surges, lightning, and other damaging electrical events. Thanks for tuning into this Viking Electronics product short about the DNA 510. We really wish these tragedies would stop, but I'm glad you're taking time to educate yourself to put your customers in the best possible position to minimize loss and damage 
should one of these tragedies occur. Please share this video. Your recommendation could lead to the installation of a DNA 510 and potentially save someone's life one day. Thanks for watching. I'm Andrew with Viking Electronics, and I'll see you next time.